the man standing to my left. He weighs in at 69 kilos and hails from Tijuana, Mexico. This is Extreme Tiger! St. John's Lutheran Church Trim, Elyria, Ohio for more. Maximum Assault Wrestling, all for one and one for all. This is Hank Hudson at ringside, soon to be joined by Emmy Howard. And we got two wrestlers with great national exposure. We've got Extreme Tiger, former star with AAA Wrestling in Mexico, now currently starring with Impact Wrestling. Uno, who's a former X Division champion down in TNA Impact Wrestling. He's going against the heir apparent Chris LaRusso, who makes a number of appearances recently on Ring of Honor Wrestling. One of the young upstarts, uh, up and covers in ROH, Chris LaRusso. What I can say about Chris LaRusso is that he has the right attitude, Hudson. To win a match. And that's what I call the right attitude. As I was just telling the fans, he's an up and comer in Ring of Honor wrestling and makes occasional appearances in ROH, getting more and more exposure there, building up more of a reputation. Well, I'll tell you what, if he keeps up this attitude, he'll go a long way. It's about getting the job done, it's not about pleasing his fans. As I was just telling the fans that uh, Extreme Tiger is known as that in Triple uh, A wrestling in Mexico, but he's also known as T. Gray Uno when he when he's with uh, TNA Impact Wrestling. He's been on uh, national TV a lot in the last couple of years. Well, Larusso uh, with a surfboard hold, I believe. Oh, what a Jody! Uh, a double mule kick. Gets the escape from the surfboard hold. I tell you what, when you're in the room with the extreme tiger, you gotta expect the unexpected. Well, any man that's a former X Division champion down in TNA, uh, those are the top wrestlers in the world in that division. And this guy's been a champion there, you know he got what it takes. But this LaRusso is crafty. Like I say, he'll, he'll do anything and everything to win a match, but he's, he, has great, he has great ability besides that. That's what makes him so dangerous. Hey, it sounds a lot more like you're describing me, Hudson, you know? Yeah, uh, he's cut out of your mold, uh, Emmy Howard. And this extreme tiger ain't going to take anybody's bull, as you saw right there. Chris LaRusso has a law degree. 
don't know if he's an Esquire yet, but he's not. He's pretty darn close to it. He's a very intelligent individual, and he's in there with a master craftsman, an extreme tiger. Well, I think you're about to see that law degree pay off. Maybe not that he's going to be an attorney acting in this match as a representative of someone, but the fact that he can play mind games with the tiger and use that to his advantage. He's a very cerebral individual, Chris LaRusso. Over five minutes into this match right now. LaRusso got the weight advantage and the size advantage. And he's using it right now. Tiger got more of the national experience and the world experience. But that said, LaRusso's an up-and-comer. Yeah, but all these high-flying moves that Tiger does, they call it high-risk for a reason, Hudson. I mean, uh, one of these times it's going to backfire on him. He's going to make a mistake, and that's when the rooster is going to capitalize. Well, uh, Tiger's in there with a guy smart enough to figure out what's going on, and, and uh, Tiger just might make that mistake in this match. I tell you what, with all that flipping and flopping and bouncing around the ring, he's bound to commit at least one during this match. And I'm telling you, the rooster's smart. He's going to zero in on it. Look at this impressive vertical super. At least 10 seconds. He hooks the leg. Oh, that was close, but only got a two count. I mean, the whole point of holding him up there was so the blood rushed up to his head. What a, what a just a, an amazing execution of that suplex by Caruso. And really, with this match so early on the card, a great match like this, it's, it's a testimonial how great this whole card is. Absolutely. This is that early on the card. You see that? Oh, I Tiger did. cheated. I saw it right there. He's nothing but a cheater. He did cheat. He pulled the man's hair. But look like a drop toe hold into the uh, turnbuckle there. I think he pulled the man's hair and he's wearing a mask. That means he's dishonest. <laughs> Uh, that's just a tradition down south of the border of Mexico to, to wear a mask. It's it's just part of the heritage of the great yeah, well, sport. He was pulling a man's hair. I mean, look at this LaRusso. He's an honest, upstanding killer of the wrestling community, and he just got taken advantage of. He's a lawyer. Uh, some people might call him a shyster. Yeah. Uh, tomato, tomato. I call him a genius. A law degree isn't exactly the most respected profession. Agility and the speed of extreme tiger. Well, it's a drop pick. I mean, I'll hire Chris Russo to represent me if he can give me Alex and some big ones, some big hundred dollar bill. Oh, oh like a tope Hilo with a twist. I can see you've been brushing up with your spare. Uh, I'm not exactly an expert, but uh, if you want the noise in here, it's death. Yeah. I can't even hear myself think with these, these uh, hundreds of fans in here, like going bonkers. <laughs> Ripley, uh, Jeff Bundy laying the cunt. Go back into the ring. I was talking about. I can't wait to see what he does. Oh! oh. That's gotta be a little bit. Jack Cradle. Right to his face, and the judge heard it. Oh! I was 
looking for a tiger maybe to give him a victory roll run or something, but uh, but he escaped from the back instead of that. Yeah, well, all tiger cop. It's a nice, swift, big kick to the face. Nice thing, fans. Bring in there. Stay with us for the rest of the night.